But first, here at 6 o'clock, 17 News is your local election headquarters. California's Attorney General and Secretary of State will not be taking legal action against the Republican Party, at least for now. 17's Ashley Zavala is in our Capitol Bureau tonight to explain the latest in the controversy over the GOP's unauthorized ballot boxes. The integrity and confidence in the vote here in California is paramount. The state attorney general and secretary of state say the investigation continues into the California GOP's unauthorized ballot boxes. The Democratic leaders said Friday subpoenas have been issued and discussions with the party are ongoing. Earlier this week, the two sent a cease and desist order for boxes they say violated state law. The Republican Party said it would not comply. Despite their rhetoric in the press, uh, what uh, we know the Republican Party has agreed to do is to no longer deploy these unstaffed, unsecured, unofficial, and unauthorized ballot drop boxes. But the California Republican Party says it's made no concession to the Democratic leaders claiming they only requested information. Now they're dangling a threat of subpoena in front of us. They want to do anything to confuse voters and our supporters and let our detractors describe our efforts as criminal. While the Democratic leaders say they'll continue collecting information, Republicans say they'll continue using the boxes. How many boxes, all of their locations, and how many ballots they've collected is still unclear. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.